we're in the middle of the season, Clark. Some teams that exceeded early expectations are starting to believe. And that confidence is self-perpetuating. Again, you have success. It breeds more success because you have some confidence. And I'll tell you what, it's a pretty good feeling when you prove the doubters wrong as a team. The fader. The shot no good. And the Thunder going the other way now. And their first look at this year's Lakers squad. And they'll meet three times overall. A little bit of a tone setter here tonight. The first time you face a team in the season, that's when you're looking to take that mental advantage. Demonstrate your better. And that could make it easier down the road. To the left side wing. Six to shoot. And Westbrook gets it to go on the assist by Davis. You know, Westbrook able to score from anywhere. Just is so assertive and confident in what he can do out there. And just over a minute played here to start the game. Man misses. Out to the right wing. Pass to Davis. Out to the right wing. Westbrook right side. Here's the pick. Let's it go from 14. And it's Bagley with a rebound. Clearly the defense could have been better there, guys, but he also needs to convert that. Here's Mann. Outside Bagley. Lays it up and banks it in. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. And they're able to recover. The Thunder have gone one of three from the floor. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Pass to Bagley. Over Covington. No good off the glass. The Lakers in the lead. Fires for three. Drills it from deep. Well, we know what a skilled passer Westbrook is, but you still got to appreciate that dime there. Very impressive. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Over to the wing. Fades away. Rebound, the Lakers. I think in that situation, it was a nice try to create some space for himself with the fadeaway. Here he goes. You know, if AD's improved court awareness, when guys on his team get open, he'll find them. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. Here's Bagley. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Bagley's got his second basket on the night. B.A. and Anthony Davis, you got a big man who can give you 28 a game and contend for defensive player of the year. Enough said. And the shot is good by Westbrook. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. Quality looks they're getting and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensively. And Davis standing 6'10 with a 7'6 wingspan. His sphere of influence, let's call it, is gigantic. B.A., I love that phrase, sphere of influence. And that's exactly what A.D. had. Multiple first-time all-defense selections, and rightfully so. This guy gets it done at both ends. Here's James. After the basket by Oklahoma City. Out of bounds. You guys are sloppy. What's the Oklahoma City trailing. Here's Mann coming off a terrific game against Minnesota. That's good. His first made shot in three attempts. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. Drives to the hoop. Pass to Davis. Davis. 
and it falls. Two for three from the field so far. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. For Oklahoma City, they've gone four of eight and looking in control. Doesn't go that time. And it's the Lakers the other way. They want to keep rolling here following a win against Minnesota. Oh, my. Talk about mental toughness. The crowd was roaring against them. But they were able to focus and finish the task at hand. Well, you know, it takes character, poise, toughness to win on the road. And that's exactly what they showed last game. Three on the clock. The fadeaway. The Thunder with the rebound. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Here's Mann. Rebounded by LeBron. Boy, just not scoring with the efficiency he'd like to. Tough quarter for him. Westbrook outside. It's stolen away. Pushing it up the floor. Here comes Oklahoma City. And he misses the fast break layup. Probably should have scored there. He usually does. Pass to Davis. Shoots from the right block. In deep, James drops it in. You know, LeBron in the paint, I think, is major trouble for just about every defender. He can power his way to the basket, or he can pass you into being dizzy. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Shot blocked! And that'll be Oklahoma City's ball. Good possession. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. Get on your feet, make some noise, it's t-shirt time. All right, look who's coming under the court. Get loud, here they are, your Lakers girls. Now on the lineup for the Thunder, Lakers girls. Here's Giddy. And he makes good on his first shot of the game. Boy, you can see the connection these guys have. They ran the play well. The defense had no idea how to deal with it. That one falls. He's got seven. Showing off the dribble moves. Able to create for himself. I love it. Here's Giddy. They look to him to score consistently. Averaging around 13 and a half a game. Pass to Roby. Here's Giddy. The shot's good. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assist. You know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Well, I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. Here's Kitty. Nails it from beyond the arc. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. He takes it in. Nails the baby hook. And the Lakers lead by six. And how? I mean, they're taking this defense to task, taking them to school. Every one of their last ten points have come in the paint. The kick out to Wiggins. And again, Oklahoma City with a triple. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Pass to Lee. Four on the clock. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. Leonard for three. Second chance shot. And there's a nice layup by James. James has gotten a second bucket on the night. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. Here's Baisley. 
Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Los Angeles has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. And now it's an eight-point Laker lead. Guys, this has been an incredible performance this quarter. I mean, he's getting the ball where he likes it and wants it and just going to work. That three's off the mark. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Back to James. And there's the drive. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. James has got six. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Here's Pokusevsky. As far as his production, he's averaging about eight points per game. To the wing, right side. Giddy. Ooh, they can't stop the run with that one. Leonard passes to Jane. Leonard with the ball. Working on Roby. Two minutes remain in the first. Two minutes. Pass to Lee from behind the arc. They get the rebound. Here's Gill to the middle. James outside. The Thunder with the rebound. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them too. I got him, I got him. Here's Giddy. His fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. Los Angeles has gone two of four from distance to begin this one. Driving to the basket, and it's flushed down. A nice jam. Number one. That's his first personal ball. Dominance early gives you a big mental edge, too. Don't discount that. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for Los Angeles? With the aggression they're showing early on, I mean, they're driving it to the hoop with authority and force. Another positive has been their play in the paint offensively. Paisley, good. This team looks to him to score the ball. They feel good when he's taking the shots. James attacking, and it's James with the jam. They played with fantastic energy from the opening tip. And you know, when you've got a chance to put a team away early, you got to take it. And for the Thunder, they're shooting well so far at 48%. Pass to Giddy. Here's Roby. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Yes, and that one's good. Giddy. Isaiah Only one Roby. missed in his first six shots. He's definitely brought his A game. Now, here is James. Guarded closely. LeBron Count it. James. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Here's Baisley. It's Pokashevsky on the wing. Checked by James. Gill grabs the board. The way they've gotten at the rebounds has been impressive. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the ground. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Really powerful. It's one thing to get outplayed, but when you're giving away possessions like this, it makes it even more tough. Seven seconds left to play in the first. Here's Poirier. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense. Four. Thunder. All right, the is coming under the court. Get loud. Here they are. Your Laker girls.
desperate well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. And, you know, for them, guys, it's all about tempo. Keep the pressure on and do so as much as possible. A difficult spot for Oklahoma City. Taking a look at the Thunder. We've got Isaiah Roby, and it's Bagley in at the four slot. Tough miss, Oklahoma especially City. since the defense wasn't that strong. Isaiah Roby. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. And for Los Angeles, their shooting has been incredible, 72%. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. When speaking about LeBron James, Commissioner Adam Silver said he's certainly one of the league's hardest workers, which has as much to do with the success of his career as anything else. Also, off the court, it's incredible what he's done. He is a marvel in so many ways, but it all comes back to his focus and his dedication. Thanks, Allie. Here's Mann, looking at his production, close to 12 points a game. A dynamic finish, then decides to hang out a little for good measure. <laughs> Boy, this guy has dunk contest winner written all over him. Smith Jr.'s cleverness and creativity, really something special. Not to mention his bounce, this guy gets in the air. And there's the lob. Oh, the big finish by Bagley. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. And that's what those alley-oops will do for a team. Ignition switch ignited. The offensive rebound. Excellent D there from Davis. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebound, and it's certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. Six on the shot clock. Let's it go from deep. Look it. He's now nine for 11 after that one. Oh, he's just zoned in. I mean, in most cases, taking quality shots very much within the flow of the offense. Here's Mann, covered by Smith. Mann misses. That's going up against a defense that knows your tendencies. Davis down low. Working on Roby. Carries it down low. Davis has got eight. Even when the defense is stellar, Davis still able to score the ball. That's what makes him an elite talent. He can make hard shots look easy. Second shot opportunity, and the layup is good. Now, what's the saying? Don't box out, you get your feelings hurt. Driving in, and it's good. Two points. He's got 24. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Pass to Roby. Excellent D there from Davis. The Lakers have gotten five of their first six attempts to fall in the second. Boom! He jams it straight down. A really excellent passer for his position. Davis more than capable of dropping dimes. The Thunder have gotten only three of nine attempts to fall in the second. Here's Bagley. Oh, the big finish by Bagley. He can really read the floor. Precision pass in rhythm. Takes it inside. Again, Smith doing a nice job getting his teammates involved. Terrific at spotting the open man. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. And there's the call on Dennis, Dennis Smith. Smith. That's his first one. And just... Lakers with the ball. And Grant, you were named co-rookie of the year alongside Jason Kidd back in 95. Something that's only happened three times in NBA history. Yeah, I'm still bitter about that. I was robbed. Jason knows that. Everyone knows that. Nah, Jason and I, we are good friends. We joke about this all the time, but it was really an honor to share this award with someone of his caliber. Really one of the true greats to ever play in the NBA. But I was still robbed. <laughs> Five to shoot. Here's Mann going inside. Gill grabs the board. 
and they just continue to dominate the boards. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. Pass to Poirier. For three. Hits the trifecta. And now a nine-point Laker lead. And now he's dropped two three-pointers in each quarter. Oklahoma City has got it going from distance in the second quarter. Four of five from deep. One minute left in the first half. Back to Baisley. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Hey, you know, I like the competitive spirit. But when you look at it, I think he rushed that three a little bit because he was trying to get back at his opponent. Chalk up two there. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Back to man. Pass to Baisley. Here's Giddy. Picks up his third foul. We'll see now. And the Lakers making a change here. Davis has checked in. Los Angeles shooting at around 66%. They're on fire. On the take. And a foul called on the way up. So that's an easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So I'd agree with you there. He's perfect from the line this time. There's 18 seconds left in the second. To stop the run. And Davis with the block. No That's right. You get stopped. That's how you do it. Nine seconds left to play in the first half. No good from outside. He gets it off. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And score. No Lakers. 65. The Thunder. Amazing first half. 52. man he's got nine we've got LeBron James Anthony Davis is out there with Robert Covington then there's Russell Westbrook that's the Laker five and Davis slams it home so smooth so fluid effortless yet powerful when Davis gets positioning like that he's trying to dunk it Covington against Bagley. Westbrook outside. Hey, expanding his range. And it's Bagley with a rebound. Bagley's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Giddy. He's got 17. Here's the three. Westbrook with the rebound. Westbrook's got five rebounds tonight. Out to James. Outside Covington. Pass to Westbrook. Shot clock at six. No good on the triple. And they've been able to maintain this lead despite his inconsistency from the field. On the wing man. Checked by James. And that one drops. Huh. A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Nice crossover to get that one. Westbrook's got eight points. 
Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they had. Man, that one's good. Giddy. He's shooting well, doing his best to keep this offense in gear, but he hasn't had a lot of support. Out to Covington. Fires from deep. He drops it from range. Covington's gotten himself going with a triple, his first basket of the game. So it's the Thunder now. They trail by 16. They'll face the Spurs at home after this one. That'll be the first of two games on their home court. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. Takes the three. And another three for the Lakers. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas. They're making it look easy out there. Time out for the fun. Hey, coach, keep getting it. The longest and craziest fans get a free t-shirt. Let's hear it, fans. All right. Look who's coming under the court. Get loud. Here they are. Your Ledger Girls. Love the defensive game plan. Where'd he go, coach? A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Oklahoma City has gotten six of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Pass to man. Checked by James. Covington grabs the board. You hate to pile on, but his poor shooting night has really hurt the team. And again for three. With every three-pointer made now, he comes closer and closer to that top spot in the record books. And you know he wants it. He's been drilling threes all season and is well within striking distance. Looking to win the run. Rejected by James. Boy, a superb shot block. LeBron continues to add to his highlight reel. Really impressive rejection. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. The Thunder have gone two of five in this third quarter. Pass to Bagley. Oh, the big finish by Bagley. The value of good ball movement isn't lost on this squad. Out left to the wing. Now Davis favors covering. Let's the three fly. The Thunder pull it in. Bagley's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Buries it from three. He's got seven. Shut out from beyond the arc in the first period. He finally drains one. Pass to Davis. It goes again. His sixth basket in seven tries. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. That shot off. Good work defensively by James. Yeah, and you know, as LeBron continues his illustrious, remarkable career, the question seems unavoidable. It's inevitable. Him or MJ for greatest of all time. For me, it's a matter of what flavor you like. You can't go wrong with either one. Personally, I know Jordan's got the rings. LeBron's got the career numbers. But I like the fact LeBron is 6'8", 250 plus. And Jordan was only 6'6", 215. I'm going with the bigger guy. Nails it from three. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Lakers. You know, block shots, guys, a clear indicator on the stat sheet of their excellent defense. I mean, leaving them no room to get off any. And the long section gets free t-shirts. Let's see who is the ball. All right. Look who's coming under the court. Get loud. Here they are. Your Laker girls. Now on the lineup for the Thunder. Nice job working with MP this year, coach. Oh. 
On defense, the Lakers. Can they get it? The Lakers with a rebound. Davis has got his fifth rebound in this one. You know, Clark, it seems LeBron has cemented his top two spot. Many will say he'll never pass Jordan. What do you think? Well, B, I tell you what, I don't have a problem with those folks who say that MJ is the greatest. I can see why people feel that way. And I'm leaning that way, but I love what LeBron has done longevity-wise. Titles are not the only measure of greatness in a team sport. So LeBron would get my nod just by an edge, a whisker, if I had to pick one or the other, him for him to. This one for three. Doesn't go for him. And the Lakers going the other way now. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Fires the three to the left wing. Back to Smith. Out to the wing. Shot clock at five. Davis hits. Davis has got 14 points. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. Man, don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Pass to man. Outside Bagley. On the wing man. Over Smith. Man misses. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough Robert patch here. Cunningham. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. Here's man. Nine points in the game. And there's the screen. Five on the clock. And he banks in the layup. 11 points in the game. I like the play call. Very solid. Making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Driving inside. Hits yet again. Wow. And he's been dominant so far in this one. Shouldering the offense. Really taking it to the opposition. Bagley, a screen on Smith. And he's going for the lob! Oh, the big finish by Bagley. Everyone loves the alley-oop play, B.A. Yep, one of the prettiest in basketball. Unless you're the team getting punched on. That would be the difference. Davis, the pass to Covington. Uneasy, too, on the layup. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. Oklahoma City has gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. Oh, Covington with a block. You know, you talk about Covington, and he's what you call a 3 and D player. has been that way most of his career. The Lakers shooting a red hot 63% in this game. Taking a look at the Thunder. There's the drive. Fourier played it in with a nice touch off the window. Really nice job moving the ball around that time, picking apart that defense. And here are the Thunder now. To the inside. And Bullard gets it to go. Outstanding execution. Good job working the ball inside. All right, here's a different question for you, partner. I'll be taking notes. Did you have a favorite city for food in the NBA? Jump ball, jump ball, we'll write this down. New Orleans very well and so New Orleans was my favorite city no question the food there oh, I'm getting full just thinking about it <laughs> and he drives in Walking and it's good ball. he hits a first team foul right now under foul Good. 
Here's Giddy. Puts it up from 12. James with the rebound. James has got rebound number eight now. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone now. Clock at six. The three is up. That shot, no good. And the Thunder shooting pretty well at 45%. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Here's Dawkins. From 11 feet away, and the jumper is on the mark. Yeah, the first half was one to deep six or forget, but in the second half, he's looked a lot better. Pass to Carter. Launches it. Sends it home from three-point land. Carter's got himself on the board with a three there. And when it comes to the three, they've been really dialed in here in the second half. Yeah, you got that right. I mean, you got it real right. They are lighting it up from beyond the arc this half. Well, Grant, it seems like each year, play in the NBA becomes a little more wide open and a little less physical. Yeah, it's definitely changed, B.A., what you look for in a player today. Now, if you're overly aggressive, you always will be in foul trouble and of little use to your team. So being able to control your aggression is how you survive. And for Oklahoma City. For the Thunder. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Rob! And another one! And this game has his name written all over it. He has been phenomenal. An offensive onslaught. And after a first half where he didn't turn it over. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. Into the lane. Carter from outside. And another three for the Lakers. And looking to shoot as many threes as possible. This kind of confidence, impressive to see. Love the mentality there, I tell you. I know I've never coached, but man, playing to win and being aggressive even with the lead as opposed to being safe and going into prevent offense, I'll take the former all day long. Play to win. Oh, a rip-rattling two-handed jam. He's putting the team on his back. Incredible scoring performance thus far. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. He's checked by Carter with the drive. Fourier with the rebound. Now Los Angeles with it. They're on a 15-6 run. And with so much player movement nowadays, Carter. The team's nervous about attracting and retaining the stars. You know, B, I played for a small market team, the Indiana Pacers, in the early 80s when I played the short time I did in the NBA. And that's always a challenge to be able to keep your star players in your market. The next again from distance. Nails the three. Now even for the record. Hard to believe his next shot from range will move him into the top spot all time for threes in a season. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. Nice job hitting him right in stride. Excellent play. Here he goes. Oh, and they immediately answer back with a dunk on the other end. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. Priority and goal number one has to be tightening up the defense. They can't afford to give him open looks. He's checked by Carter. Oh, and he got Lost fouled on his way up. up. He'll head to the line. Again, that didn't give me a foul, huh, Rob? That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Thunder. Good on the second one. The Lakers have gotten 8 of 10 attempts in. Very productive here in the fourth. Carter on the wing. Pass to Poirier. 
And so it looks like the Lakers will retain possession here. Lakers ball. Come on, MP. Keep this roll going. He takes it in. And got it. Another basket. This game has his name written all over it. He has been phenomenal. An offensive onslaught. Here's man. It's tipped. And it's the Lakers on the break. Three-pointer. Good. Another from three. And who thought it couldn't be done? That three moving him into history. You could feel it as soon as it left his hand. He is the king of the three and now stands alone at the top of the list. And they come right back three. with their own three-pointer. This is a fantastic performance. It's time to keep it. And your Laker girl. Now the lineup for the Thunder. And he is torching them right now. Los Angeles has gone four or five from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Drives to the hoop. His arrow's been trending up as of late, and he's been magnificent tonight. I wasn't quite sure if he'd be able to maintain that same level of play. I had my doubts coming into this game, but consider my doubts disappear. Fires in the triple. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Pass to Gill. And he can't get that one. So Oklahoma City will take it the other way. Here's Mann. Well, Grant, it seems like more and more game time is spent with officials huddled around a monitor. You think instant replay has been a positive thing for the league? Well, for the most part, I think it has been a positive thing. I enjoy it. I think it brings a level of transparency, and also it's important to get the call right. But at times, it does disrupt the flow of a game, and players can't be consumed about winning every call all the time. Clutch buckets. He's paving the way as they hit the home stretch. For Oklahoma City, they've gone 6 for 11 here in the fourth quarter. To the paint. Here's Dawkins. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Coach is loving the ball movement. Pass to Poirier. James outside. Shot clock at six. Inside. He got it again! Sensational! And there it is! 82 points! This is a game that he will never forget. I know I won't. Pass to Favors. Here's Dawkins. Checked by James. Dawkins shot is off. The Lakers shooting has been spectacular. 67%. Just incredible. And the whistle blows. And it's going to be over the back here. At least the over the... Close this thing out. Oh, it's stolen. Here we go. Here's Giddy. And the layup falls. 23 points in the game. Great teamwork on that drive. Punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. <laughs> and the slam was so good. But the dribble move he made to get there was a thing of beauty. Now, absolutely. What a slick play. Heads Isaiah up basketball, Robin. plain and simple, guys. Three points. That's why you keep your head up. If the assist is there, you can pounce. Pass to Poirier. 
from downtown. The Thunder pull it in. Roby's got four rebounds now. Here's Giddy. From 12 feet. And it's Lee with the rebound. Los Angeles has gone four of six from deep thus far in the fourth. On the take. Oh, a nice one-handed slam right there. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Does it as well as anybody, fellas. Tremendous skill while in the air. Defensively, you just can't afford to give these easy looks up. Just asking to get burned if you do. Good! That's another bucket! And he's been dominant so far in this one. Shouldering the offense. Really taking it to the opposition. There's the drive, and it's good. Fought through. Number one. That's a foul. Sorry, I thought the line. Gills checked Bobby. in for the Lakers. And Oklahoma City with a change here, too. Wiggins is checked in. And some have said the pandemic increased the league's interest in a potential expansion. Grant, is that something you'd like to see? This speaks to the league continuing to be popular and continuing to grow throughout the world. So we all know there'd be a hefty expansion fee, but there's some great markets out there that love the game of basketball and would really embrace a team. You know, one city that comes to mind, Seattle. So maybe it'll happen. I'm hoping it does. Just three to shoot. The 15-footer. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Pass to Giddy. 124 left in the fourth quarter here. Poirier with the rebound. One side is dominated tonight. Yeah, they've done a fantastic job of imposing their pace and style of play. From deep. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Lakers. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well. Oh, oh, nice. oh big finish. Man. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. And again for three. He's been on the money from deep. Definitely looking to shoot as much as possible. There's 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Wiggins for three. And again, Oklahoma City with a triple. It's nice they found their rhythm here, but the clock is just not their friend. Now they're playing with urgency, huh? They could have done it much earlier before the game was out of reach. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. Boy, they've given their fans plenty to cheer about, that's for sure. Effort, skill, coaching, you name it, they've done it. Pass to Roby. Using his post moves to get the two points. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. Driving in. Basically, been all him. I mean, he scored most of the points himself. Here's Giddy. No good that time. And so it's Lakers win. Lakers are victorious. The Lakers The Thunder. One on nine. Thanks again, folks, for coming out and supporting your basketball team. Drive home safely.